Hello, it's Emma Jo here from Lavinia Stamps and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this. Ta-da! So this is Rufus in a mini landscape. We've got Rufus and we've got some of the new stickers, Love and Light, and some of the gilding flakes and some glitter. And a skeleton tree, the smallest skeleton tree. I'm finding them great fun to use because you can get lots of different textures and patterns, a bit like the Laura Ashley fabrics of old, as long as you keep to the same sort of tones and palette, as long as they all mix well with each other, you can create the most fantastic layers. And that's what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to be showing you how to make a card with a landscape that's built with layers. And we will be featuring Rufus and a whole load of minis and a skeleton tree. So enough of me talking here. Let me show you how this is done. Come with me. OK, so I'm using the masking papers from Lavinia Stamps and positioning it over my DL Multifarious card and just tracing around the outside and then popping it over the top ready. Well, actually, I'm going to mark the outside edge of the card first and then I'm going to mark my design onto the masking papers. Now, this isn't too detailed. It just really is quite linear and shows us, splits it into sections. like that. And then I'm using a hill mask for the very top bit. So it looks a bit like a mountain. Happy days. And then I'm going to cut it out. But you don't need to see that. And this is where it becomes a bit like a jigsaw. But before I actually stick all the jigsaw pieces together, we're going to stamp Rufus. Using Nocturne Versifying Claire. There we go. Ta-da! There is Rufus. And he looks rather lonely, doesn't he, sitting there. But we're going to cover him up. And this is where the jigsaw goes into play. So you peel the backing off the masking papers and just place them over Rufus. And there he goes. Happy days. Now I'm using one of the moon masks just to apply some colour. Because I'm going to do my sky first and I'm using Sundance, Elements Sundance, just to go around the mask and along the top of the mountain, the top layer. So I'm building up the colour. And now I'm going in with some confetti. And when these two mix together, you can get a very bright, a very nice, vibrant orangey colour too. Which is what we're after. We want a bit of that sunset gleam. So keep going until you achieve the colour that you want. And then I'm adding a little bit of the Sundance to the sun so that it's not this stark white. And now I'm covering up the top so that I don't get it covered with anything else because that can happen with me. And now we just colour the pattern layer by layer. So the top layer I've used Lime Punch and a touch of Sundance. And now I'm using the mini dots and I'm using elements. No, I'm not. I'm using Versafine Claire Acorn. Because where possible, I'm stamping in Versafine Claire. So I've chosen my palette. You can see here that I've chosen which ones I'm going to use. And I'll tell you which ones I'm using. So I'm now shading with elements henna. And I'm on to the next layer. So it's simple as that. You do need to wait for it to dry to pop your masking tape up, masking paper back on. This again is Elements Sundance. 
with a little bit of mulberry. And then I'm using a mini stamp from the Foliage Set 2 in Versifying Claire Rainforest. And then I'm popping the masking paper back on to protect it. Next layer. Something quite satisfying about peeling the masking papers off. Okay, so we're back to the elements and this is Lime Punch, I think. I'll tell me in a minute. Ah, Lime Punch and Pine. Hurrah! There we go. And just build your colours up. Until you're happy with them. Now that's one section that I'm not going to pattern. So I'm leaving that that colour. We're back again with our Sundance elements. With a little bit of shading using the elements olive. And mini maple stamp in Versafine Claire Acorn. And I'm not just stamping it in the first stamp, I'm stamping it in the second so that I get a variation in colour too. And there we go, hide it again. And we're at Rufus. Now, any part of Rufus I am going to be trying to get, um, I'm going to be using the yellow Sundance round the fox. Just so that it draws the eye to it. Because he is the star of the show, really. So that was Sundance and... Lime Punch, I think. Yeah. With a touch of pine at the edges. And Mini Leaf Creeper using Versifying Claire Shady Lane. So this is our new mini, which I think is fabulous and could be used as a berry, as an olive, as a seaweed. But in this case, I'm just using it for texture. And I love it. Just reminds me sometimes, <clears throat> excuse me, you look at the hillside and it just looks like a whole load of patches sewn together like a patchwork quilt. It's really an ancient art. Oh, hide it away. OK, so next one. Again, yellow around the fox body. And then. Lime punch. And this time I am stamping using elements. And it's confetti. Because I'm slowly tying back into the um, design, the colour that we had in the sunset. And so we've got it again for the bottom. And this is the Silhouette Grass stamp in Versafine Claire. And I'm just repeatedly stamping that. So the big reveal, once you, this is the point where you get to see what you've made. And you peel off all the layers and suddenly, can you believe you've done it? Okay, so I'm now stamping the skeleton, smallest skeleton tree. And highlighting around the fox with a yellow Posca pen. Adding a sticker sentiment to the left bottom corner and I've chosen love and light. And now I'm going to add a different type of texture using liquid pearls, another dimension. So I've gone with the gold and then I'm going to add a dotty grass in front of the fox and just finish off with a little bit of green Posca. Dots are great and I've added them up with added some yellow Posca onto the mini dots at the very top layer by the sun. Here we go with our mini glue pen straight down the top of that layer and I'm going to add some bling. So I'm using Turkish Delight and just 
adding some bling. And now we're going with the gilding glue because I'm going to add some of the gilding flakes. And you have to let this dry. So obviously, ta-da, it's dry. And I'm adding some with my brush. Not completely dry, just so that it's tacky enough to accept flakes. And leave it to dry. And when it's dry, just persuade it to leave the building so that you're just left with a little line of your flakes. And I'm doing the same here with gilding flakes again. And once that is done, you, my friends, have done it. Hurrah! Well done. I really enjoyed playing. I really enjoyed playing with all some of the new products here because we've, of course, we've got the mini leaf creeper, we've got some of the stickers, and of course the masking papers. I enjoyed that. If you put it all together, there's a lot in here. It may look quite simple. And also we've got my old favourite, the textury feel of liquid pearls. So I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I have. And perhaps I may have inspired you to have a play, have a go and see what you can come up with. And if you do have a play, please pop some pictures in the post below and some comments and let me know how you've got on. And I will do my very best to answer your comments as soon as I can. Just you take care.